everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is Mike McHugh, and today we're going to be talking about parallel processing in Reason. So I have a session open here to demonstrate this technique, but first I want to talk about what parallel processing actually is. This is a technique that's commonly used when dealing with compression, saturation, distortion, or time-based effects like delay. Essentially, it gives a much greater and more granular control over blending the dry signal and the affected or processed signal. There are two ways to do this in Reason, one by using a parallel mix channel on an individual track and also by using a global send effect. We'll look at both today. But first, let's take a listen to this small loop that I've created. So that sounds pretty good, but I'd like to beef up the drums, which is a perfect application of parallel processing. So the first thing we're going to do is create a parallel track for our drums. And there are two ways to do this in Reason, and they end up in exactly the same place. So we'll look at both. The first and more simple way is to come up to your mix channel that you want to create a parallel channel for. Right click and come to create parallel channel. And you'll notice that this creates a second mix channel with the same name with a P1 in front of it. If you flip to the back of the rack, you notice that the parallel out of the original channel is going into the input of the new channel. The other way to do this is to simply right click anywhere on the rack and go to create mix channel. And then manually route the parallel out of the first channel into the input of the new channel. And you'll notice that the color and the name automatically change to reflect that. And you can now move it here as well. So now that we have that set up, we can go ahead and process our parallel channel. The first thing I would recommend doing is bringing the volume of your parallel channel all the way down because essentially what this is doing is sending an exact copy to the master section, which essentially doubles the volume. So we start by bringing the volume all the way down. And the next thing we're going to do is open our insert effects. And in this case, I wanted to add some kind of beef compression to it. So I'm going to add a new pulverizer. And we'll just go ahead and bring the squash up and the dirt up. And now what you would do is start your loop and then slowly bring up your parallel channel to blend. And you can also mute to hear the difference. Now you'll notice that the drums do get louder. That's just the inherent design of how parallel channels work, but they do get a lot beefier and just add more power. And just a couple things to note with this technique. The first is that it doesn't have to be a singular effect that you're using in your parallel channel. You can actually create an entire effects chain to process your parallel track. So if I wanted to add any other effect or create a whole bunch of effects, it would run through all of these like any other mix channel. And it auto routes accordingly. The other thing is that this is just a regular mix channel and it is created in the mixer here. So I could also use this in conjunction with all of the features on the mixer, such as the EQ, the dynamic section, or even the master send effects, which we're going to talk about in a second. So there is a lot of flexibility with this. So the second way to do parallel processing and reason is via the global send effect in the master section. So I've gone ahead and reset my session here and we'll start looking at that. So all you have to do is come over to the rack, right click and go to create send effects and that'll focus your browser on your effects section and we can just pick one here and it'll put it right below the master section. Now you can also do this manually 
If you look on the back of the rack, you can take the effect send out into the input of any effect and then the output of the effect back into the effects return. And the way this is controlled is on the mixer. So if we take a look at that and scroll to the send section here, you'll notice I already have it enabled, but basically you just click the number here that corresponds with the send number over here. So if I enact one and change the level here, I'm effectively sending a copy of this drum track through that insert or send effect. So we can take a quick listen to what that sounds like before and after. So I have the send effect enabled on both the drums and the bass track. And this is without. And back in. And just a few notes about using global send effects. You can adjust the level of the track being sent through the effect using the level knob right here. And you can change whether the send is pre or post fader by using this button right below the on and off switch. To the right here, you can also edit the effect return in general. You can change the entire the level here or the pan and you can click the edit button to bring you back to the rack. And similarly to using parallel mix channels, it doesn't have to be just one effect. You could chain multiple effects together as long as it ends up back at the effect return. So that was a quick overview of how to utilize parallel processing in Reason. I hope you guys found that useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.